why armor isn't saving you. Ever try to block a jewel swing early game and just poof, delete it? Yeah, same. I used to think my gear was trash or that Valheim just hated me. But no, every hit in this game runs on one simple rule that quietly decides if you walk away or respawn <laughs> naked in the meadows. And here's the twist. Armor? Barely part of that rule. Your survival depends on a few other factors most Vikings never think about. But that I'll show you right now. Once you understand how they fit together, the whole game clicks. You stop dying to things that shouldn't have killed you and suddenly the world feels fair again. Alright, let's break down what's really keeping you alive and why meals, weapons and timing beat fancy armor every time. Boring math that actually matters. So here's the deal. Your first line of defense in Valheim isn't armor, it's learning to block or parry an incoming hit. And if you're not doing that yet, maybe start. In every fight, the game quietly asks one question. Does anything reduce the damage from this hit? If your shield's up, the next question is, are you strong enough to block or parry? If the answer to either is no, you take the full hit. Valheim compares the incoming damage from the enemy's hit to your own blocking capacity. That number comes from two things. Your weapons or shields block armor plus about 40% of your maximum health. Here's the quick math. Take your block armor and add 40% of your max health. The number you'd have at full health, not what's left at the moment of the hit. That's your blocking capacity. If the incoming damage is lower, you're fine. No stagger, just reduce damage. If it's higher, you get staggered and the leftover damage moves to the next step. Now the fun part. Time your block perfectly and that capacity gets multiplied by your weapons or shields parry bonus. Usually it doubles or even more with certain weapons, turning defense into a real power move. You failed the block test or just missed the timing and got hit directly. Now what? That's when armor finally wakes up. It won't stop the stagger, but it does reduce the extra damage that sneaks through when blocking or parrying. Here's what actually keeps you alive. Armor only reduces what leaks through. Food raises the entire ceiling before anything leaks at all. The formula is like more food, more max health, higher block power, fewer funerals. But don't go full red fork diet. If you eat only health food, you have zero stamina to roll or sprint when things go south. Block, parry or dodge, choosing the right move. Alright, math's done. Let's make it practical. Because knowing how much you can block doesn't mean you should block everything. Valheim gives you three main ways to stay alive in a fight. Block, parry or dodge. And choosing the right one is half the game. First, blocking. Your safe default. Blocking is your steady low-risk option. It's best when you're learning new enemies or when you're not sure how hard they hit. If your block power and health clearly outnumber the enemy's damage, go for it. You'll take no damage, no stagger and can counter right away. Just remember blocking its stamina. Hold it too long and you'll be winded right when the next hit lands. Also, multiple enemies can fill your stagger bar faster. Once it's full, you take the full hit and get staggered. Parrying, the timing flex. Parrying is the show-off move, but it's powerful. Hit block right before the strike lands and your shield or weapon's parry bonus multiplies your block power. The enemy staggers, you lose no stamina and your counter hits like Thor's hammer. Use it when you're facing single targets, you've learned the wind-ups and you're running gear with a big parry bonus like daggers, fists or bucklers. Miss it and you'll eat the full hit. No mercy. Land it and the fight ends before they swing again. Dodging. The emergency button. Alright, so blocking's reliable, parrying is flashy. But sometimes you just gotta roll. Rolling ignores all the math. Time it right and the game pretends the hit never happened. It costs roughly a quarter of the stamina bar and gives you a short invulnerability window. Roll at an angle, not straight back. That gets you out faster. A rule of thumb. If you're not sure your numbers will hold or the mob keeps jerking your timing, roll first, analyze later. 
Personal confession, I tried to parry an Ashnan's warrior five times in a row. He won all five. That's when I learned rolling isn't cowardice. It's strategy. And here's the thing about all this math. It only works if you actually maintain it. I once strutted into the Mistlands feeling unstoppable, parried a seeker perfectly, <sighs> felt like a god, and died instantly. Turns out my food buffs had expired 10 minutes earlier. I was running on vibes and overconfidence. My block math was zero, and I became the loot drop. So here's your actual survival checklist. Check your food timers, not just your health bar. Keep a third of your stamina free for emergencies, and when you're not sure if you can block it, roll first, analyze later. Do that and suddenly Valheim's combat stops feeling unfair. Now, there's more mechanics I didn't cover here. For example, the stagger system. Keep your eyes peeled, I'll cover more of these hidden mechanics in future videos. For now, grab your shield, eat something that isn't berries and go test this. I'll see you in the meat hall, preferably still alive. Skull.